Okay, we have another set of parametric equations right here, of x and y in terms of this parameter t, and we want to eliminate that parameter t, see what kind of equation we get, and then take a look at the graph. So I'm going to start over here, and I, I can't solve for t directly, but I can solve for sine t. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to say this, sine t is equal to x minus 3. Okay, so I just subtract 3 from both sides. I get sine t is equal to x minus 3. Over here, I'll solve for cosine t, and what I'll get is cosine t is equal to y plus 2. Well, here's what I know about sine and cosine, or at least one thing I know about sine and cosine. Sine squared plus cosine squared is always equal to 1. So I'm going to use that identity, sine squared t, plus cosine squared t is equal to 1 to eliminate that parameter t. So I know that sine t is equal to x minus 3. Well, this is the sine of t quantity squared. That's what that notation stands for. So this is going to be x minus 3 quantity squared plus cosine squared t or cosine of t quantity squared. Well, cosine of t is y plus 2, so that's going to be y plus 2 quantity squared equal to 1. So what do I have? Well, I have the equation of a circle with a center at 3, negative 2, and a radius of 1. So the square root of 1 is 1, so the radius of that is 1. So what I've done is I've eliminated that third variable, that third parameter t, from this set of parametric equations, and instead of having two equations, now I have one equation with just the two variables in it. Then from my algebra, I recognize this as the equation of a circle. So this is going to be a circle with a center at positive 3, negative 2. And it's going to have a radius equal to 1. So that's an equal sign right there, so let's make it look like that. So the center is at the point 3, negative 2, the radius is 1, easy to graph. I'll go over to x equal 1, 2, 3, down 2 for y equal negative 2, and then I want a radius of 1, so I'll go 1 in each direction from there. This isn't <laughs> drawn to scale by any means, but that's approximately what that circle will look like. It's got a center at the point x equal 3, y equal negative 2, and it has a radius of 1. So you can see these trig equations right here, these equations that involve trigonometry and parametric equations with that third variable or parameter t. We can use our knowledge of algebra and our identities from trigonometry to take these two equations, write them as one equation that has only two variables. Now this is something we're used to looking at, so now it becomes easy to graph. Up here, I can't quite see what that graph is going to look like. But down here, I know it's the equation of a circle with that center at 3, negative 2, and the radius of 1.